So Kelly, have you ever wanted to know how Manfrey gets made? Yes. Well, your prayers have been answered. <laughs> so the first step of making Manfrey is that I write the script. I painstakingly go through and write every single page and every single panel and what happens. <laughs> Once that's done, I'll send the script to Kelly so she could do the thumbnailing stage. So I interpret Caitlin's vision and um, sketch it onto or into a comic, and then I send it back to her for revisions. So uh, I, I'll get the thumbnails from Kelly, and uh, I'll make any notes or revisions. Caitlin says what's good, what's not good, and puts her kind of finishing touches on the thumbnails. Uh, and sends it back to me. I print off the revised thumbnails and then using my light box, I ink them onto Arches 90 pound hot press. It's smooth enough to ink on, but it also has a tiny little bit of tooth, um, which allows for some great textures when I use the brush. Then I scan the end result and put it in the panels and stuff like that. And then I send it off to Caitlin for coloring. I usually do uh, some editing at this stage before coloring, adjusting backgrounds or drawing in any extra elements. And then I add the colors and I add the text bubbles. Mm. And then all of it gets sent off to our lovely editor, Rick, to <laughs> do his magic and make it make sense. <laughs> Thank you, Rick. Thanks, Rick. So that's how a graphic novel of Man Free the Man gets made. The more you know. Can we film it again? <laughs> I think we probably should, yeah! And she's playing in her plan of attack. Check the stacks of fat, paperbacks, but the man is like a cat. Uh.